Okay, my first dream. I had a strange dream about the four spirits of the earth and the four angels that embody them. I saw a great war uh, with one third of the angels and the four spirits of the earth just <laughs> wiped out all the, like just got all the angels, like defeated them all. And then God came and he took uh, the devil and he just dropped him into this deep hole. You saw that? And that was my dream. That was the beginning of this week, the first. So you basically saw what happened when Lucifer got cast out of heaven? Right, because I always thought it was a really big battle between like all the two thirds angels and the one thirds angels. <laughs> you were they like, just sent there four was earth no spirits, which are like a lion, an ox, an eagle, and a man. And they go and they just wipe everything out. It was pretty crazy. All right. Is it awesome? Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. The angels were just fighting? It's just a fight of angels? It was like a whole army and then it was just four of them. And they took them all out. Like... <laughs> it just shows we can't. Why are people worried? We crazy. win. We yeah. win, everybody. We win. <laughs> Well, we win if we fight, yes. but if we don't fight, then we don't, and he wins. Yeah. That's the whole point. Then, on the second, I guess I wrote this down, but I didn't actually write a dream. I thought I wrote a dream. I guess I didn't have a dream on the second. It just says, I had a dream that I barely remember. I fell asleep after, and I did not attempt to remember. I remember I dreamed, and I dreamed no more. And then I put, God gives me every dream of importance, every vision that leads to his reign. Be reverent, fear him, be caring, love him. God is these things. <laughs> Kyle's like, I will not say, I will not write, not write down a dream right when I get it next time. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't write it down. All right. <laughs> and then I put down, I had another dream concerning the throne room of the highest one. He reigns in the heavenly places. Abba, Adonai. His very robes formed all that was contained in the throne room. The throne he sat upon, the lake it rested upon, the ground the angel stood upon, the air itself that listed above him. His robe is made of a material without material, something tangibly intangible. It spread like wings to touch all things. At the root of all is him, the Father. The archangel stood at his right. Heaven's host surrounded the throne room. The seraphim stood above the throne, resting on platforms made of glass, which was also air. <laughs> at his right hand is salvation, at his left hand stirs the breath of life. Those uh, whose power ghosts like mist across the glass like water. Behind him, spanning a width of twelve to each side of his throne, sit the twenty four elders, mortal men who are mortalized by their deeds, honored judges and counselors, awed by the Father. In the midst of the lake is a stretch of crystal which meets an emerald platform at the lake center. Here stands those who come before God. Every other hour is an hour of worship. All the angels will sound their horns and trumpets. The archangels unleash their voices might, and the seraphim begin to screech and howl and cry out in many languages and many tongues known and few unknown, but to the holiest one. Glory, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. He was, he is, he is to come. They repeat this for an hour, and then hold silent for an hour, then repeat this again forever. And then I just put God. Repeat that last part again. Which one? Just the last part describing what they say. Glory. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. He was, he is, he is to come. Beautiful. Yeah, I think that's where the, I'm pretty sure there's something like that. In, in Revelations, uh, yeah. Revelations. I looked at it, and I'm pretty sure it's it's where the song comes from. Mm -hmm. Here, let me pause it. I'm going to stop it, and I'll start a new one.